Let's talk about why scheduling sex does not work. I know a lot of people try it. There's a lot of even other therapists talking about the importance of scheduling sex. But in my experience, it almost never works. And the reason it doesn't work is because it's just more of what women have been, and it's definitely gendered. Typically, a couple comes in and there's always somebody that identifies as the female or has female characteristics, and that desire is generally lower than the male identified person. And it creates issues. It creates issues because there's mismatched desires. And then there's conflict, and so the person that has the lower desire is constantly trying to please the other person, so they're forcing themselves a little bit to do that to engage in sex and some people more than others. And what happens is that you schedule sex and you're just doing more of the same. You just say, okay, force yourself to do this. You know, we're just putting it on the schedule. It doesn't matter whether you're into it. It doesn't matter what happens. We're just going to do it. And that whole idea, idea of just do it, it, oh, it's so repulsing to me because it just doesn't work. I would suggest instead to schedule fun, sort of like, remember when you first went out on a date with this person, you didn't go out in order to schedule sex. I mean, that's totally fine and a lot of people do that. But in general, you're going out to get to know the person, get to see if there's a, some sort of spark and go from there. And your goal is to show up in a sexy way, show up in an interesting way, and then develop the connection and see if it'll lead you anywhere else. And that's what the type of attitude you wanna have even with your partner that you've been with for 20 years. Think of it, okay, I'm scheduling a date. I'm scheduling something to have fun. I'm not scheduling sex. I don't even know if sex is, is going to happen, but what I am going to try to happen is have fun. I'm trying to get this person to like me and to want to get closer to me. And that will work so much better for the person that has a lower desire because most of the time they have a responsive desire. And responsive desires don't do well with just making it happen. Like, just do it. Like, you just should just feel it. Responsive desire is all about being inspired. It's all about like, what's the context? What's feeding my desire in order to open up? I don't know whether I want to have sex. I, I, you know, I have to figure that out as we go along. So scheduling sex for the person that has a lower desire, hence the responsive desire is usually quite problematic. It's not going to get you anywhere, but schedule fun instead that you have, it'll be great.